Yo! Welcome back to Containing Luxury. On this episode, we're going to be discussing some of the container homes you can purchase can, pur can purchase on Amazon and eBay, but mostly eBay, and why you should or should not purchase certain ones. Let's get started. Okay, so I know I've been uh, away for a little bit. I've actually been super sick. I've been slamming elderberry like it's my day job, which we're gonna link to this stuff. I'm literally gonna link to elderberry because it's amazing. Don't take Tamiflu or whatever that other stuff is. Actually, I probably shouldn't be giving medical advice on the channel. Because now the like container homes are starting to kind of become a thing. We, we started realizing like, okay, you can buy them on eBay and you can buy them on Amazon. And when I went to eBay and I typed in container home, I found quite a few, and I first wanted to look at the ones you can buy that are made in the USA. We discussed that that shipping container that we constructed. We did the cost video that every single person that watched it was like, oh, you know, they talked about X amount of dollars for that, but then they have a super high-end fridge. In that video, we were not discussing how much that container cost. It was the cheapest you could build a shipping container. A lot of people miss that, but that shipping container that we have out there was ideally like, a, it's probably like a $60,000 shipping container because it was like $35,000 in material. And in some of our old videos and cost videos, we kind of discussed how contractors usually, like a rule of thumb is gonna be, take all your material costs, double it, and that's usually what your project costs are gonna be here in the US. In other places, it might be that you can get labor for super cheap, here we can. not so <clears throat> in most cases, it's all your material costs double. That to me is worth about, you know, $60,000 or so. So I wanted to see like, okay, what else is out there? The first thing I came across was a 40 foot shipping container, office, laboratory, tiny home classroom control station. So I think they just tried to fit as many keywords into that as possible, but it was $19,500. And it says it's actually made in the US. So I'm like, wow, 40 foot container, Let's take a look what it is. <clears throat> I click on it and I look at it real quickly. I'm like, okay, this is why it's $20,000. It looks like a jail cell. Um, the containers obviously use container. So they started with a $2,000 container. They have a R12 insulation, they, they say, but they look like they're just the insulated panels that are running along the, the corrugated steel. Now an R12, if you're familiar with insulation, is not a lot of insulation. Now our container didn't have a lot of insulation either, but we designed it in a manner that we reduced the heat load on the metal on the outside of the container. By doing so, we didn't need to have as thick of an insulation on the inside of the container. Now on this container for $19,500, they have nothing protecting the outside. It looks like it's the original paint on the outside of the container, which if this is in South Florida, where it says it was actually made in Miami, first of all, anything made in Miami, I'm pretty worried about. It's probably gonna get super hot, the metal on the outside. And if you have a void there, so you have the metal on the outside, then you have a little void and you have just these R12 insulated panels. If that cool air is mixing with that hot air in between, it's gonna get moisture on the inside. So this doesn't look like it's meant to be like a living structure. Like I'm gonna always be in here. Actually, I can see huge gaps in raw material. This container, what do you get for $19,500? You get a used container, it looks like. You're gonna have an electrical system. That's worth you know a decent amount of money because it's got a plug on the outside, it's got an electrical panel, and they ran a bunch of outlets and some basic lighting. So maybe a couple grand. You, it looks like they rolled out rubber linoleum flooring through the whole thing. What's that worth? Maybe 500 bucks. And what else do they have here? Nothing. I mean, there's a, there's a door on the out, other side. So they cut out the one wall and put in a door. Other than that, and I'm finding like, as I, I'm sitting here stuttering, I'm finding other issues with like these doors that are open right now, they don't have any insulation on them. So when they close those doors, yeah, it's insulated on the other part of it where the AC is coming, but you're gonna have hot air mixing with cold air all over the place on this thing. And what happens when you mix hot air with cold air? Water. 
I don't foresee this being something that I would ever buy. I think if I'm gonna spend $20,000, I would build it out a lot nicer and more custom tailored. So I wouldn't purchase one of these and be like, okay, well, they already have the electrical system and they already have an insulation and they already have um, the AC system. So now all I have to do is build in a couple of partition walls and I can make it something. I would rather start with nothing and build it all properly the right way. So to me, even for $20,000, no way would I buy this. There's no comparison to, to ours and this. Temporary mobile office, you know, something you can drop and you can use it to, you know, work during the day. Maybe, you know, a construction company needs something, might work for that. Same company's advertising a 20 foot version of it, $8,500. Maybe if you used it for like a shop, you know, a shed in your backyard, like that's maybe sufficient for that. That's not a bad deal, but you can duplicate the whole thing and build it a little bit better, I think for a similar cost. Okay, now we've got a 20 foot transportable shipping container home, 160 square foot, so it's a 20 foot, brand new, made in the US. So this is $55,000 for a 20 foot. That's ours for $60,000, which is a 40 foot. So virtually the same price, we're giving you twice the house. Now they, they did some fancy <clears throat> designs and that, this is what like the rule of thumb I've pretty much come across on all of my research of buying things online that you don't get to go see is the, the patented bait and switch. So they show you something super fancy and you're like, man, this looks really nice. But then when you actually see the product, it's like, wow, that is really crappy. So this, they show this mock-up. I'm like, well, this looks, you know, pretty nice for made in the US. Like that seems pretty inexpensive. It's got a whole glass wall and the, the big glass doors accordion shut uh, or open. And then three sides pop down for like a nice wood deck. And it looks like they've got like a big flat screen and some modern finishes and maybe like a, a hide bed uh, or a Murphy bed. So I'm like, okay, this looks pretty nice. Okay, then you see like the actual product. Now we're into that. And okay, now we get to the real picture. Like what, <laughs> seriously? So you showed me an all glass wall that accordions and now we've got like some like green siding, uh, an obvious residential non-impact door that was a French door swinging in, okay? and I know it's not impact because it's swinging in. So it's not gonna be the same, you know, all of our stuff is, is impact rated, so it can take a big storm. Now this has a panel you can fold up, so you might not need it to be impact. But either way, I can tell we're not comparing apples to apples. And the genius design of this thing, we put a black window next to it on our green siding. So we showed you a picture of some really cool, modern, like all glass partition. And then the rea reality is for $55,000, this looks not nearly as cool. Let's go to the inside. Okay, so we have green cabinets. We showed a picture of black, like super modern. We've got a TV and a fireplace that don't cover the plugs that they put. So the whole reason of mounting the plug on the wall is so you don't see any of the cords, not to mount the TV below it, kind of defeats the purpose. And for $55,000, no, I definitely would not buy that. So that's what you get in the US. All right, before we get into the real good one, just remember Blackout Coffee Co, proud sponsor of Containing Luxury. I forgot the name of our channel for a second. And if you're like me and you need lots of coffee, you get one of these sweet, huge, massive jugs. That's what I bring to work. And then a five pound bag. You can actually order these online. So if you wanna buy like big bulk coffee or you, if you have a business, they do wholesale accounts, so you can get your larger quantities uh, right at blackoutcoffee.com. And then the other big news, K-Cups have arrived, and they're amazing. The K-Cups are out, you can get them at blackoutcoffee.com. Link in the description, coupon code, free shipping, back to the video. Let's click on this super cool one, which has an image of like all wood and metal. It looks super fancy. Let's see what this thing is. So. It's advertised as one bedroom, one bathroom, 320 square foot, so we know it's a 40 foot container. Luxury shipping container home, financing available. 68,795. This one looks really cool, but it's, this is completely Photoshopped into uh, nature setting here. 
they go from the Photoshop picture into a nice layout, which is kind of nice. So you actually get a bird's eye view. Seems like a pretty good idea to do if you're like a real legit builder, give a floor plan so people can see an idea of the measurements. What do we got in here? The finishes actually look really nice in this, but the pictures are kind of blurry. So you don't really get to see like, what are like the caulking joints or like the type of materials. We have some pictures of it being constructed into like a big different house. So now this is really deceiving. You told me a price tag on it. You advertised one that looked all super modern. Now I've seen two different floor plans bird's eye view floor plans. They're completely different than each other. And I've seen a bunch of containers being built. So you're just advertising your business with a price tag on it and we actually have to call you and find out how to do it. Seems like what's going on here. Best luxury container at this size for the price. Get this while you can at this fantastic price really selling this thing to me here. This unit comes with kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, heating and cooling, earn extra income. Okay, so I'm really confused. They don't ever show you a product. So they, they give you a set price, but there's no product that they like, what are you getting for that? So they just show a bunch of different pictures. So I guess you'd have to actually like call this company. They're located in San Marcos, California, and it ships to United States. So here's one of the loophole things that you gotta watch out for. So there are companies, we found a couple of them. There's one in Miami, there's one in like New York that they're container home manufacturers. All they're doing is playing middleman. They're selling container homes that are manufactured in China and then you, they just ship them to you, like that's it. They don't do anything, they just take the customers, send, that, send the order to China, get the China manufacturer to build it send it over. There's no product control. No one's overseeing it. What's like the point of this video? There's a ton of people selling things online. So would I purchase a $68,000 container home without actually going there and walking through and like seeing the quality and speaking to customers? Absolutely not. No way. Um, I wouldn't even buy a $20,000 shipping container home because if your $20,000 just thrown in the garbage, then there was no point in spending the $20,000 to begin with. I think a lot of these, you know, even with the mobile offices, if that was something that you really wanted to do and your budget was around $20,000, I'd probably hire a local contractor, buy a shipping container and have them build it out exactly the way you want it. And you were going to probably spend $20,000 or $25,000 because the reality is the construction industry is not affected by the online market. We still have the same labor costs. We still have all the same material costs. All of our stuff is shipped to distributors, to local building department, I mean, uh, building um, supply houses. So whether you're buying it online, it should actually cost more money than you can have somebody locally build it for because they have to now allocate in shipping something so expensive. You'll even see people chime in in our comments that are not us because people are asking, oh, do you guys sell them? And currently we don't, we, we've said that in our videos. We do not sell shipping container home. We don't have that. So if you see in our descriptions, which we saw some Chinese companies try to pretend they were us in our comments and be like, yeah, we do sell them. And then they put a link. We don't recommend buying stuff online. We don't recommend picking up some, some random pictures and being like, oh, it's a really good deal, I should buy it real quick. Use your local people because you know, you're really gonna wanna be hands-on with something like this and make sure it's done properly because it doesn't matter how much money you saved if your money's just thrown away in the end. Because if this thing's not built properly and you, you have an electrical system that hasn't been inspected, it might not be safe. Um, if you have the wrong insulation in there, it might be growing mold behind your walls. So our recommendation is I would never in a million years buy any of these shipping containers off of eBay or off of uh, Amazon or anything like that because you have no idea what you're getting unless you've, you, you find that it's a local company, you can go down, you can check it out and it's actually everything like meets the, the building codes and it was all done by professionals and you, you're comfortable with it then maybe go forward with it. But if you don't have any eyes on that project, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even waste your money or your time.
Oh, this is that Robitussin or something like that. It's actually not bad. So we hope this has uh, been helpful and realistic. Don't buy shipping containers from eBay and, and Amazon or Alibaba or any of those places because you have no idea what you're gonna get. Make sure as always, subscribe, like the videos, and we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully I'll be in better condition. I won't be sipping on some scissor. It's actually berries, it's not scissor.